Hello and uh, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, this video will be a demonstration on how to edit your discussion posting once you have submitted it in the class in Canvas. Uh, a lot of you are starting to take a lot of courses on Canvas both at the college level and university level and you always encounter a glitch where after you've submitted the assignment uh, in discussions how do you go in there and edit it and so this will be a demonstration on that. First off, the, uh, what you're seeing here on the screen is an instructor's view um, uh, of what the course looks like. And you'll notice that I have discussions blocked. And the reason why it's important to talk about this is um, some instructors will have discussions released to the students, and then others uh, will have them located in modules. And for my case, at uh, the college where I teach, I have them listed in modules. So Let's just pick modules and uh, for this demonstration. And um, if we search for uh, where the assignment's located, we're currently in week two, for example, and so you have to pick an assignment, obviously, that's still open. Once the deadline passes, you are not able to edit a discussion posting. So we're going to pick uh, chapter two because we're in week two, and um, you'll find all of your instructor assignments in this area. For example, we're going to be talking about responding to chapter two discussions just underneath this picture of this uh, lady here with headphones. So the first part that I'm going to um, do on the, de the demonstration is I'm going to access student view so that um, I'm in there now acting as a student to complete an assignment in discussion postings. So we're going to go on modules and then we're going to scroll down to chapter two because we're in week two chapter two of the semester. Uh, you notice the, the assignment expiration date. It's important, again, that you realize this because if the discussion posting assignment has closed, you are not able to uh, edit an assignment that has closed. So only assignments that are still open, you're able to go in there and that the instructor has allowed you to edit it, you can do this. So let's scroll down to Chapter 2 Discussions. And now this is what you would see as a student for Chapter 2 and you're going to read all the instructions uh, etc. And this is going to be your first posting. So you're going to click on reply down here and now you're going to type, um, you know, let's just say this is a test discussion posting reply um, to see if um, we are doing this assignment correct. Uh, you know, and you say end will not need any edits. And so we're going to go ahead and post the reply, right? And then so once you've re replied to the posting, you'll notice now that uh, here is your posting. And so uh, we are in my name in this uh, demonstration is test student. And so um, you'll be able to find your discussion, you know, here, you'll have your class picture and then your name here. And when you posted it, now, uh, your instructor might look at this and say, uh, in online discussion, uh, you cannot, um, you know, capitalize all letters. It, it, it makes it sound like you're yelling. So please edit your posting before the deadline. And so now you're like, how do I edit my posting? First thing is to find the posting, as we did here. And then you'll notice these three little buttons here um, to the right of your name. You're going to click on that. And then you notice that one of the uh, the uh, choices is to edit. There's like a little pencil mark next to it. You're going to click on that. And now you've opened your discussion posting and you're able to uh, change what you originally typed, right? And then we're going to correct this. And then, uh, okay, correctly. And then um, this completes our edit demonstration. And then once you're done, you come down here and you click on the button that you're done. And now you've completed the edit. Um, if you have any other questions or ideas for videos, I urge you to, on the comments area, uh, submit those to me. And I will definitely post a new video uh, that will help you navigate Canvas. So thank you for listening. And we'll talk to you soon.